Hi, Ebony here. Um, I'm just doing a quick little video here um, to go over the introductory kit from doTERRA that hopefully if you're watching this video you have in front of you already right now. The doTERRA introductory kit is absolutely fantastic. It's a nice little introductory to three of the oils that you've probably heard about, that you're probably reasonably familiar with, um, lavender, lemon and peppermint. So things that you know most people have come across in life already, whether it be the oil version or not, maybe not. Um, but just to give you a quick um, brief background, um, the kit mentions Source to You, which is a really great website you can check out. And it talks about all the amazing lengths that doTERRA goes to to get these beautiful oils from all across the globe. Um, countries that are really, really difficult to go into and to do this kind of work, um, you know, they're really working with. And all the conscious enterprise that comes with that so everyone's paid very fair wages um, there's also a whole bunch of like um, amazing um, donations that go into the areas and work that's done in the areas that's nothing to do with the oil so it's a it's a huge big conscious enterprise thing just to get these amazing oils to us this pure um, and all the testing that goes into it as well um, you know, we're working with the most pure oils in the world, the ones that are the most trusted by the most people and by universities, and they're really changing healthcare with um, clinics opening across the world this year. Um, they already have one open, um, working with healthcare to improve healthcare with what nature has to offer, which is where we should go first in the first place. So doTERRA really is empowering people to have these things in their home and be able to you know, deal with everyday issues before they have to go to the doctor and things like that. Now, you know, this is all about working with doctors. It's not about, you know, either or. Um, but there are certain things that, you know, if you just had something to deal with it, you wouldn't even have to go to get that appointment. So, um, you know, that's where doTERRA are and the benefits to the body are absolutely incredible. And, um, you know, my own experience has been phenomenal. And a lot of us feel like we've got, you know, we can't really talk about what they've done for us because obviously there's a lot of compliance and things. These are these are not made in a lab. These are not patented. When this says lemon, this is pure lemon. This is just lemon. There is nothing else in this bottle. It's not something made to smell like lemon. It's not something pretending to be lemon. It's just pure lemon with no pesticides, no fillers, no anything else to make it, um, you know, smell better or um, be harvestable at the right time or anything like that. This is the best lemon oil you will ever find. Um, so yeah, why do we care? Why do we use them? What should you do with them? So the first thing I will say is, you know, take your little leaflet out, have a good little read through, but do not forget to open the bottles. The first thing to do is open the bottles. It's a miraculous how many people prefer just to kind of have them in the box um, for a little while. And my biggest advice is just get those bottles open. You know, um, if this is your first time even um, experiencing doTERRA, you're probably going to find the smell quite, quite intensive. Um, it's, you know, it's really powerful stuff. So you can, you can smell it from the bottle. It's, it's going to be too strong from the bottle, to be honest, um, because it's completely undiluted. You could smell it from the lid. Um, or you can just go ahead and just pop a little drop in your hand um, and really experience it. So, um, yeah, so let's just dive in and go through the different uses um, for these different oils. Okay, so let's start with peppermint, um, one of my absolute favorites. Um, now, I do say that a lot with the oils because honestly, after you start using them, they all become your favorites. Um, so bear with me on that one. <laughs> um, Peppermint is one though that I really do panic if I like, leave the house without it. Like I absolutely have to have peppermint on me at all times. Um, so yeah, why do I love it? Because obviously it's a breath freshener, which is really, really great. It's super uplifting. So if I just need like a pep, you know, like a pick me up, I'm going to meet people and I just want to be like alert, you know, I just stick a couple of drops of peppermint, give it a good inhale, pop some on my hair. Uh, takes away any nasty smells and gives you just a really amazing uplifting experience just right in there. Super easy, you know, that simple. Um, I will also take a drop. You can experience this yourself. Put a little drop in the palm of your hand. You can either just dip your finger in just very slightly. Oh, that's still in my hand. Touch your tongue or you can do it with your thumb. 
and touch the roof of your mouth and just get that peppermint in your mouth and you will absolutely feel the intensity of the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit of that drop. You don't even need a whole drop. Some people put, you know, drop under their tongue, but you don't even need that. Um, and you can get all that excess. You probably can't see it there, but there's quite a lot of excess. So you can take that and you can rub that. I like to do it on the back of my neck because that's always an area that I hold tension. It might be for your shoulders. It might be for you. You know, you might have pain in your hips or something like that. Put it on your skin topically. It's really, really great for soothing tight muscles. Um, really good for sort of relieving that kind of aches and pains. Um, so it boosts energy. It soothes tight muscles. It reduces stomach aches, which is really fantastic. You can rub it directly on your stomach. Even by inhaling it, that will also help your stomach aches. You could rub it on the bottom of your feet. That would help your stomach ache. Uh, it freshens bad breath, which I've mentioned. You're going to get it in your mouth. It's, it's like an extra strong mint, the tiniest, tiniest little bit. So, you know, really great for freshening your breath and, and just overall smell. Like if you're around, you know, fish or something like that, you know, you put some peppermint oil on you and you're not masking it like you would be with perfume you know the chemicals are actually cleansing so you're cleaning the air you're um so you would actually smell fresh not just like you smell like fish and then you know and um, peppermint on top of that really great for that improves mental focus right you can really um you can feel it right away when you experience the peppermint how, how much more alert that you feel um right away really really great for that and then really great for the respiratory tract. So you can, you can really feel that as well. And another really great place to pop it is just on your chest. Um, and it's, it, yeah, it's just lovely. Um, really opens up your airways and it gives you more oxygen in your cells. So that's why it's also uplifting, right? So really nice with the respiratory system. So if you suffer from respiratory problems, you're gonna really love it. Then also like if you just like sport or you don't like sport, but you do sport and, um, you know, say you're going for a run, really great one to put over your chest before you go for that run and you're going to be able to breathe so much better. Therefore, your exercise is going to be so much more effective. So yeah, really great for no matter who you are. Love a bit of peppermint in my life. Absolutely fantastic. Then um, let's go to lemon oil. Where is it? Lemon oil. Okay, lemon oil is another absolute favorite. Um, you've got to have lemon oil in your life. So why would you use lemon? It's basically, it's really great for boosting energy again. So you can use these two together, oh, these two together uh, to boost energy, really, really lovely. You could use these in a diffuser together. You could pop a drop of each in some water and drink these together. Um, you could um, just inhale them, you know, pop them on you topically together. Um, or make like spray bottles. They're really great cleaners as well, peppermint and le uh, lemon together. Lemon is a super cleansing oil. So it's really great for, as I say, cleaning. It's also really great for cleansing ourselves. So say you wanted, you know, you were in a public space and you've touched some really dirty door handles and you just want to clean your hands. You can do that with most of the oils. They're going to be really, really great for cleaning you because so many anti-everything properties. Um, but lemon oil is a very, very obvious choice. Really great one for cleaning because you can do no streak. You know, um, if you just mix it with some water, you just spray that on your windows and you're going to get no streak um, cleaning your windows. So um, that's a really great thing. Um, there, it's also really great for respiratory support. <clears throat> really supports the breathing. You can sort of, I feel like I'm sort of cleansing out right now just using this much. Um, and then, yeah, it, again, it improves mental focus. So these two can be really utilized together. And if you do nothing else, oh, sorry, this one and this one. Um, if you do nothing else, please take these out, take the lids off, have them on your desk and inhale them. Like inhale them every 20 minutes. Inhale them consistently for an hour. Inhale them just like literally all day. If you don't have a diffuser, if you don't want to drink them, if you don't want to put them on you, at the very least get these on the desk and inhale these, like this will literally make such an effect to you just by doing that, okay? Um, the lemon is super detoxifying. So I choose to pop a little drop of lemon in my water every day. I used to use lemons, you know, the inside of lemons, 
the lemon oil is just the rind. That's all it is. It's the, it's the oil from the rind of the fruit. So you don't get the, you know, the damaging teeth enamel thing with using the inside of lemons every day uh, to support your gut. So, um, so yeah, lemon oil does all the, the benefits, but it doesn't have the damage on the teeth enamel. So I love to use that. Also, it's just, you know, it's kind of inconvenient to always have like organic lemons, um, depending on your situation, unless you grow them. Um, and, you know, that's only going to be at certain times of the year, depending on where you're living. So, um, you know, to have 250 drops of, you know, beyond organic quality, lemon oil is you know just on tap it's just absolutely fantastic i add it to my recipes to you know marinades to salad dressings to uh, smoothies to desserts to literally i use lemon oil in everything and it's absolutely fantastic the flavor is absolutely delicious despite it being from the rind it's a very very good flavor um so yeah um great for all of that uh, and as I said it's really great for a, non, a cleaner and a degreaser so even if you're taking a label off something it's really great for that as well so <clears throat> that's your lemon and your um, peppermint and then I will talk to you a little bit about the third oil in this box which is lavender so lavender you've probably come across before doTERRA um, lavender is one of the ones I tried before doTERRA and it's, you know, it was a uh, oil that I came across for mosquito bites once. I was in Rome and they were driving me crazy. I used to get really bad mosquito bites and they would grow really, really big um, and be really, really itchy. So we'd searched around for ages and I found, you know, this lavender oil, which was, um, you know, reasonably helpful. It was the most helpful thing I could find. So I did use it um, and quite enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy the smell at all. Um, and then when I came to doTERRA and I sort of went to try the lavender, I was sort of like, oh, I don't really, want, I don't really like lavender. No, it's horrible. But actually, when you smell doTERRA lavender, it is a completely different ballgame to what you will be used to that's sold as lavender smell. Um, it's really sort of woodsy and deep and earthy. Um, you know, just like the quality of the, of the lemons, you will just, it'll put you right in Tuscany. It's absolutely insane. And the peppermint is like, you're just inhaled a cup of peppermint tea and you swam around in it. It's, it's just insane. Um, but the lavender is, is yeah, really quite earthy. Um, and I actually really quite enjoy the smell of lavender now. Um, but I certainly didn't before, so I, I am completely aware if, if it doesn't appeal to you, but please, as I just say, give it a chance. Um, what I will say is for me, um, it's really, really great for calming things. It's really great for sleeping soundly. So if you <coughs> have problems sleeping at night, um, you could be using it in the evenings as well as during the day to sort of bring you down and help you be prepared to go to sleep really well. Now, I found in the beginning, to be honest, that you know I had quite bad sleep problems and lavender just didn't cut it for me at the beginning. What I find really interesting is now the longer I'm using the oils and my body's obviously in a completely different place, um, lavender does really help me now. Um, so, so I can use that and it will help me go to sleep. But before it was really just mainly just to sort of calm, calm, slight calming feeling. Um, and I used another blend for, for sleep issues, which, is also incredible um, and is lavender based but has a lot of other things in there as well um <clears throat> but yeah many people find this is plenty enough to help them go to sleep so it's great you can try it for that a really great way to make it more effective is um especially at the beginning when you're first using oils is to use it you know not just as you get into bed is to use it, you know, a couple of hours before, put it on the bottom of your feet, put it on your chest, inhale it, have it diffusing, you know, put it on your bed linen, take a bath with a few drops in there, maybe some Epsom salts, right, in your, in your um, lavender oil, you know, that would really set you up for success. Um, but for me, like to just go to bed with all my mind running straight from the computer, you know, a few drops of lavender didn't cut it at first. <laughs> so, um, I, that's what I will warn you. But yeah, it's really beautiful for calming and for sleeping things. Um, how I use it a lot as well is for burns. Like if you have sunburn, really, really amazing for that. In fact, a combination of peppermint and lavender is really great. And frankincense, um, frankincense for the healing, lavender for the calming abilities. 
and peppermint for the cooling abilities. So that's a really, really great potion for sunburn. But the lavender alone is very, very healing. So if you actually have bad sore sunburn, it's the lavender that's really going to calm that. Um, so really, really great to have around for that. Also, if you burn yourself in the kitchen, I'm a really clumsy cook. I've only just learned to cook in the past or a few years. And, you know, I'm always dropping things and touching things I shouldn't. And, um, yeah, just being really clumsy generally. So um, the lavender is always on hand. I would never put my hand under water anymore. That doesn't work. You know, you, you stick your hands in a glass of water and it would hurt hours later if you take it out. And, you know, it's just not fun at all. So, you know, the minute if I do burn myself now, which I do still a lot, um, I don't go anywhere near water. I just get the lavender. I pour it right on. I might use two drops. If I burn a big area, I might use 10 drops. I don't care. I just want lavender on the whole thing. Um, and it really does within like a, a minute or two, you feel the, the burn go away, the, the pain goes away um, and, and the healing begins. And actually you can apply more if you need to. Generally, I don't need to. Um, one application will, will do it, but obviously it depends how severe your burn is. Um, but even people that have had really, really, really severe, severe burns, um, you know, keep dicing it in lavender and um, obviously get the doctor's advice and help, but the lavender will be extremely helpful. And I would be surprised if your doctors didn't encourage you to keep using the lavender if you have been and they've seen the results. And um, that's what I've heard a lot of people say. So super, super healing for, for um, burning. Um, and, uh, also for yeah, like mosquito bites, like I said, when I first tried lavender uh, many years ago, I was in Rome for a mosquito bite. So any kind of itchy bites like that, minty bites, mosquito bites, um, <clears throat> whatever it is in your area, um, and they're obviously the mosquitoes tend to not bite you so much when you're using the oils more, and when you're using certain oils and you eat certain things and all that kind of stuff, they're, they're least likely to come near you in the first place. Um, and there are um, blends to help with that as well. But the lavender is really fantastic when you do get a bite. Um, it just really takes that sting away as well. Um, it's really great for anxious feelings, which I've kind of mentioned, you know, like you can use it during the day for sort of anxious, um, calming feelings, calming anxious feelings. <laughs> Um, and then you can actually use this to flavor your baking as well. I mentioned lemon, lemon and lavender. You can drink it. You can put it in food. You can do the same with lavender as well. Um, you know, I actually tried the other day, somebody suggested putting um, lavender and spearmint together um, in like a big jug of water or a big jug of fizzy water. Um, as, a, as a quite interesting drink and I was thinking lavender and spearmint but it was absolutely delicious it was so good and um, so I'm sure lavender and lemon would probably be good lavender and peppermint would probably be good um, you know or some people I know like to make like muffins and things like that with with lavender as well so icing whatever it is that you fancy <coughs> so yeah really really um <coughs> really great oil there for um flavoring anything as well and then it is also good for dry skin and lips so you know you can put some on dry lips or on um you know if you have dry skin like eczema type stuff you would probably want to mix it with frankincense for the healing and melaleuca for the fungal infection type stuff and um, going on with that kind of thing but um yeah the lavender plays a really big role there for the calming um, so yeah, I hope that gives you a little insight of ways that I absolutely love to use the three oils in your introductory kit. Please, if you have not already, take them out the box, take the lids off and inhale them. And I dare you to put some on your hands and actually put it on your skin. <laughs> um, and you can't go wrong. As I say, if you do get something in your eye, grab a coconut oil, um, an olive oil, something like that, and just rub it underneath the area. Um, like say, you know, you put someone, you have peppermint on your fingers and you rub your eyes and all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, my eye's stinging. It's full, it's got peppermint in there. Obviously you're not going to drop it in your eye, right? But if you get it in there accidentally, um, then that's what to do. Just take a carrier oil and rub it underneath. This thing will go away immediately. It's fantastic. Um, but, uh, yeah, and the same with like any sensitive areas or anything like that, um, the, the carrier oil will slow and subside the, the, the effects in that way. So, um, 
please do not be afraid. Everyone makes mistakes in the beginning. You only learn from them. Um, but they certainly do not work when they are not open <laughs> and when they're not being used. So my advice to you is please just take, you know, one use for each oil that suits you and get it into your life and start using it. Um, and I, I would implore you to use them for many reasons um, and to look to them, you know, first, you know, if you have a headache, instead of grabbing that paracetamol, why not try some peppermint? If you have a funny digestion, why not grab some peppermint? If you have, you know, if you're feeling sick, why not grab some peppermint? Just rub some here into your nose. Um, you know, why not give it a go before you take the medicine? If you still need to take the medicine, then fine, go ahead. But um, I believe that if you use these properly, then um, they can really help you in, in, a, in a million different ways. So I hope you enjoy. I hope they make you feel happy and healthy and um, you love them half as much as I do. <laughs> enjoy. And uh, please contact me with any questions. My website, Shine From Inside. I'm on Facebook. I'm on all the different platforms. Message me there. Message me privately. Put a message on my on the pages, whatever you want. Um, but I am here to answer your questions. And I would love to get as many people using these oils as possible. So um, if you want to book me for any events or webinars or anything like that, please do not hesitate to. Okay, enjoy the oils. Goodbye.